Well, it seems like uh, open social is an enhanced embed. So when you look at your total distribution, you're basically taking all the HTML embeds and trying to add a little context around it. So you sniff for JavaScript to see if the open social variable is there, and if it is, you can do something. But that something seems to be different with every single network that you have inside your coalition of the willing. Um, because um, it, it, when, when, I talk, when I talk to one particular app, the friend list that I get back is everyone that has that app installed, for example. And another app, the friends list that I get back, is all of, all of Niall's friends. So how exactly is this um, going to make life easier when Open Social will probably be one of two APIs supported by the parent platform? And I'm going to have to code for each of the platforms because they're going to have different interpretations of your standard. Well, part of the point is that um, we abstract out the friends model such that it can be interpreted um, differently by the different ones. So the, the goal is to provide something that, that spans the different notions of friend and relationship between them. So we have the notion of viewer and viewer friends and owner and owner friends. Um, the viewer is you going to the, the site and looking at pages. The owner is where that page belongs to that has the, the application embedded within it. Um, different sites will have different interpretations of that based on their privacy models. So the, the, the API is general for that. And you saw that, um, for example, within the enterprise context, the viewer is, is you with your, with your colleagues. But um, the owner is potentially somebody from another company and, and their, their friends are the people who contacted them. So there's an abstraction there of there's me and the people I'm carrying with me, and there's the person I'm viewing and the people that they have attached to them. And that abstraction is deliberately designed to be sort of loose and minimal such that you can move, say, a how am I connected to this person application from something like Walker to something like um, Oracle and, and have that, that still work. So it's, um, it's basically designed to be you know, a, as like a um, friend's APIs as we could do but can bridge those concepts. And having mapped that through a bunch of different containers, we think that does hold. But if there are holes in that, you know, we'd like to hear about it. Um, but yes, yeah, you may find that some containers only allow um, you to look at the page where the viewer is the owner. Um, you can imagine that in a, in a sort of um, an email-like application where you're only looking at your own stuff. Um, also, other containers like Orca will let you look at anyone's profile. Other containers will only let you look at profiles of people you've been introduced to. So there, there are some constraints there. But for the application, you, you should, in many cases, be able to abstract it out and say, I just want to see the viewer's friends and the owner's friends and see if that makes sense to me as an application without having to understand the science policy. You should still be able to do an app that works against that. And am I not coding for every platform? I would do it the same way because I still have to make sure that it binds correctly. Um, the API should be the same across platforms, that's the point. So, I mean, you have to interpret it. Yeah, it, well, you've got to interpret what it means, but if the abstraction should be you've got a, you know, a set of people attached to the person who's viewing it, a, a, a set of people attached to the page that belongs to the person. Uh, that, that said, well, one thing I wanted to add in this area is uh, there may be some differences in the policies between containers and, and the specification doesn't mandate policy of containers. So what, one aspect that we're discussing right now uh, with all the container partners uh, for extending the API is having a container object that you could introspect that would specify what these policies are in order to make it easier for developers to take advantage of the, of the various containers' capabilities and policy limitations. That you global options things like this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, kind of, all of saying, you know, whether um, viewers can be anonymous or not. Because that's a bit, there's obviously a bunch of privacy implications here. You don't necessarily want to give out the viewers' information.